Hey, car reporters and newbies, if you like my sweater, head over to realitymerch.com. There's plenty more like it over there. So if there's one thing that disgraced teen mom OG star Amber Portwood has, it's a machete. But if there's two things that disgraced teen mom OG star Amber Portwood has, it's a machete and some audacity. The girl has just announced that she is releasing her second book. The book is actually entitled, So You're Crazy Too, and it's supposed to be all about um, destigmatizing mental health, which is a little bit ironic considering the title, right? Like there's been a huge movement to remove the word crazy from our lexicon when it comes to people's behaviors and whatnot, um, arguing that it does stigmatize mental health issues, right, and diagnoses. So it's a little bit ironic that she's going, you know, uh, swimming against the current on this one, but I digress. So here's a description of the book that is up on Amber's official Amazon page for the book. It says in a quote, an in-depth look into teen mom star Amber Portwood's long history, dealing with several severe mental illnesses and how she survived almost insurmountable odds and unbearable public scrutiny to become the strong self-insured woman she is today. Listen, Amber does not face public scrutiny for nothing. She faces public scrutiny. She started um, when she started beating up her first baby daddy on multiple occasions. Like we watched her physically abuse this man like day in and day out. That is why she has the, the scrutiny that she has. We watched her neglect her daughter, refuse to see her daughter for months at a time, but make all the time in the world to see her boyfriends, the boyfriends that she swaps out every other year. And then when she got a second baby daddy, what did she do? She allegedly chased him around the house with a machete while he was holding their child. So, I, you know, they're really acting like she gets scrutiny for nothing, and I resent that. Continuing right along, though, it continues on to say, and I quote, as a reality TV star and one of the original stars of what's become a massive franchise, Amber Portwood has been the subject of media curiosity and public scrutiny for almost 13 years of her life since she was only 17. Throughout the years, Amber has struggled with up to five severe mental disorders that, especially when grouped together, would bring even the most hardy among us to their knees. Currently serving out her five years probation for a widely publicized fight with the father of her son, another paused. It wasn't a widely publicized fight. It, it was a publicized alleged abuse of her father's son. Like I, they're really trying to kind of um, soften up the corners on what it is that Amber continues to do with her baby daddies, which is abuse them. It's weird. It's giving weird. Continuing right along though, Amber has been on a roller coaster of experiences since she famously emerged from prison almost eight years ago. Yeah, like being charged and threatened with another stint back in prison and being put onto yet another probation. But let's keep reading. And she is finally ready to share the painful and emotional journey that has brought her to the more stable and productive life she's leading today. This book chronicles Amber's journey with painstaking specificity as she takes the reader through her harrowing battle with mental illness and her story serves as a triumphant tale of rebirth as Amber finally conquers her demons and begins her road to a healthy and happy life. I don't know, this sounds like um, this week's episode of Teen Mom OG where Amber just continues to use um, her mental illnesses to explain away all of her bad behavior, all of her abusive behavior, all of her neglectful behavior as it pertains to her baby daddies and her own children. And that I can't support in any shape or form. Like she's really laying um, the the whole mental illness thing really thick with this book thing. And I feel like she's trying to use it to get out of being held accountable for what it is that she has done over the years. So in the about me section of the author on the Amazon page, it says Amber Portwood was cast in the reality television series 16 and Pregnant in 2009 and has since catapulted to infamy for her several run-ins with the law that included a 17 month in prison. You proud of that? Like that is the weirdest like opening statement I've ever seen. Like it seems like she should be proud of this situation. Uh, anyway, she's the mother of two children and currently stars on the show Team Mamoji, where her controversial life plays out weekly to a devoted audience. I wouldn't really call it devoted at this point, seeing as the ratings continue to nose drive to historic lows, but I digress. She's the author of Never Too Late, is currently attending Purdue University Global, and is an outspoken advocate for mental health and wellness. And that is why she named her book, So You're Crazy Too, crazy referring to her mental illnesses, right? Guys, what do you think about the latest cash grab from Amber Portwood? Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.